What's up you guys, it's Rob here. Today I'm going to be going over ticker symbol NIO NEO. It's a electronic EV company that I just actually added to my portfolio a couple days ago. And I'm actually really bullish on this company considering the news that they just got on Thursday. And let's go ahead and just dive on over here in the Weeble. If you can, give me a like on the video, subscribe, hit ring the bell, do all the things for the YouTube algorithm. Let's get this video out there. But Let's go ahead and dive on in here to NEO. So let's take it here a look at the one day, one minute chart. So with NEO, this company definitely has been very hit hard by this market correction and it is a tech company, so it has been hit hard by it. So we are looking at a dip opportunity for here for NEO. I mean, I remember NEO was trading back at like $60 at the beginning of the year, somewhere around that point. And now we're looking at NEO trading for like, $39. Personally, in my opinion, this is a great dip buying opportunity, guys. So, but I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Just looking at the history of the stock, seeing what it was performed at before and what it was valued at. So that's what I base my things off of. But here on the one one minute, one day chart, we did have a nice run up here in the morning because Neo did have a positive news catalyst. If we can take a look at here at the news chart, does we will actually have it. Um, yep, huge sales growth from March and Q1 of 20 of Q1 of 2021 for Neo. So, and Xping also really had a good time too. But we did have that run up here in the morning with that positive news catalyst, and then for some reason we just decided to sell off into the close pretty much the whole entire morning. We did find our intraday low here at 39.25. And we did bounce off of that pretty well and had a nice little rally up and then we bounced back. But the great thing about when we had these fallbacks after we rallied, we were making, we were making, what is it? We were making higher lows. So we were moved from 39.25 up here to 39.42. And then really we had a third bounce here at looks like 39.56 so we are having that bullish movement because people did see well, we were just literally trading at 42 dollars, and now we're down all the way here at 39 what the heck happened nothing's really changed besides the fact that a couple of people might have sold off here in the morning for some reason for some unknown reason so really what we have to do is we have to take a look at this as a great dip buying opportunity so but let's go ahead and hop on over here to the five day five minute and you can see those three support lines that we have and we did have a gap up here in the morning also so that might have been part of the reason why but when we take a look at the five day neo literally was trading at 34 dollars several days ago like this is crazy that we are having these kinds of movements and it's showing that the market is getting up back on its feet and we're getting out of this correction also historically april is a very bullish month for the market so i'm kind of expecting very bullish things to occur here in april and i definitely need that trend reversal here because my portfolio is just screaming red 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 like let's let's make everything green and make everything happy because we want to print attendees kind of thing so but when we take a look here and we take it the take a look at the macd it really got overextended on this gap up essentially which is expected here on the five day five minute and then we did have that sell off here in the morning that you can see the macd cross over the signal which is a very bearish indicator and then we just sold off but the whole time we sold off it was very overextended so really when we had to sell off it was not expected it was not really i wasn't expecting it i was expecting us to go through the roof with this positive news catalyst instead of selling off it didn't really add up to me but taking a look at the rsi we're sitting about 34.88 on the rsi and we're just sitting below the equilibrium on the macd so kind of good news the only other the other thing that i want to point out here is that the macd does have a bullish reversal here um we are back in starting to try to push bullish territory because the macd did cross over the signal so let's go ahead and review here the one month I mean, you can see the, the crazy month that NEO has had. Like, it literally 
has been it bounced here in the low 30s and then it hit the low 30s here again so we definitely can be pushing 40 like 4650 we were pushing 4650 here at the beginning of march like like the stock is definitely worth a lot more why are we selling off at these points like there's nothing really has changed so it's the fundamental thing of NEO is beating deliveries. And if anything, that wouldn't cause the, the stock to sell off. If anything, that would cause it to just moon, in my opinion. So, but looking here at the one month, one hour chart, we do see the MACD crossing over here on the signal. We do see that we were pretty much in overbought territory the whole entire pre-market, and then we sold off into it. And we did bring back that RSI, the neutral, sitting at 49.84. So we are sitting at neutral on the RSI, which is a positive thing. But the MACD definitely says we are here. We are in bearish territory here because we are plummeting back towards the equilibrium and then hopefully not crossing back over it, hopefully here on Monday. But Honestly, let's go ahead and hop on over here to cover the news of the deliveries of NEO. NEO had positive news on Thursday. They beat their deliveries estimate. They're, they did 7,257 deliveries in the month of March, which was up 373% from a year ago. And then also on top of that, that's up 30% from February. They are also dealing with a semiconductor shortage right now. So like they're doing phenomenal. And I like I don't understand why we sold off like like we did, because everything here, we beat it. Like even when they dropped their target of what they were expecting to be delivering in Q1 to 19,500, they delivered 20,060 vehicles, which was between their estimate of what they originally estimated during a chip shortage. Like that is huge like neo is doing great like everything shows that this is supposed to be moving to the upside and we have all these bullish indicators behind us so all that we really need is the market to just continue getting up off of its feet and we should be going with it and seeing the moon soon in my personal opinion but really the huge things that i'm going to be looking forward to looking for on monday are going to be can we hold actually let's hop over here to we can we hold this 3924 level of um support if we can hold this level of 3924 or any of these support levels that we have and bounce off of it hopefully we should be receiving 40 dollars and then on top of that we should be receiving 42 dollars honestly in my opinion and then after that it really should be 45 dollars because that seems to be the next level of resistance that neo has it doesn't really seem to have much resistance between 42 and 45 so but that's all i got for you guys today if you can drop a like on the video hit that subscribe button ring that bell feel free to join weeble when you join weeble you get access to weeble and you can start trading it as early as 4 a.m eastern standard time and as late as 8 p.m eastern standard time between those hours you can do pretty much anything so down below is my referral link. You get two free stocks when you join Weeble. One when your account gets approved. The other one when you deposit $100 on the platform. And then on top of that, I get a free stock as well because that you're using my affiliate link. So it's a great way to support the channel. But thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.